All right, folks. So here's some news, some uh, pretty significant political news, I think. This just came across the wire today. What have we been saying now that the Green Party has a star on the ballot? This might be the year where they can crack that 5% threshold. And it looks like already Cornell West is on pretty good pace to do that. So a new Emerson College poll, which is a very, very reputable outlet, right? This isn't Hillary sucks balls dot biz doing a, an <laughs> online survey, right? This is Emerson College. Those, those are the best, though. Yeah, those are my favorite polls. Indeed, they tend to give the best results. You know, I get great results. I get great numbers in those polls. Yeah, yeah. Huge. My numbers are all, all huge. Trump wins again. <laughs> again, yeah. Um, but here it is. 2024 general election matchup. Biden, Trump, someone else undecided in that scenario. Biden up one forty four forty three. But then when you introduce Cornell West to the mix, what happens? Uh oh, uh oh. See, this is why we're going to get shit this whole cycle, because now with Cornell West's name in the mix, Trump 41, Biden 40, Cornell West 6 percent polling over five in the first survey. And like I said, I have to repeat, Emerson is a real poll this is not a bullshit online poll emerson is a reputable poll and uh they tend to be a very accurate poll so it is definitely a good sign that cornell is starting above five uh that's that is significant right there well i mean if, if i could weigh in on this uh look i remember 2016 and being vilified by people who were close to me saying oh you're supporting a third party candidate that means you approve of trump or you're going to help Trump. And I remember a friend giving me an article that said the KKK is rising and it's because of Trump. And they wrote underneath said, you are supporting this to which I'd say, how dare you? This is going to reinforce my ability to once again, f vote third party. When I see those numbers of Dr. <laughs> Cornell West rising to 6%, I have to say good. And I'll be more than happy to drink the liberal tears because you liberals and all your vote blue, no matter theatrics that you did from 2016 and afterwards shows me that none of you ever, Ever gave a damn about what you believed in, what you said, what you marched and wasted my time on when I was covering you guys in the streets way back in 2016 through 2020. And even up until now, these people who are saying, oh, no, Cornel West is in. Trump's going to win this. I don't care. And you can't make me care. And if you want to turn me or any of my colleagues into villains, that's your own fault because your campaign and your support for Joe Biden doesn't inspire anybody hell it can't raise the dead it can't even inspire joe biden and that's your leading dog because joe biden under this time this point in time things not only fundamentally changed they have gotten worse and i'm taking that from nick from rbn because he's absolutely correct in that assessment nothing fundamentally changed it just got worse so when i see those numbers of cornell west succeeding it shows me that more independents are not afraid to come out and i encourage everyone out there Everyone that's listening, don't you dare let these Biden supporters browbeat you and yell at you and take you down. Don't you dare let these vote blue, no matter who's sycophants, tell you, oh, you got to vote for Biden because of Trump. No, you vote third party. You stand true to your conventions because you don't owe Joe Biden anything. You don't owe the Democrats anything or the Republicans anything because they don't like us. They don't think about us. They don't respect us. So case in point. I will not respect Democratic and Republican lawmakers. I don't have to like these lawmakers, and I don't have to think about them. And if that hurts their feelings, good, because I want to be your bad guy. Because if I'm the villain in your mindset, then it's no wonder why you're getting screwed up the ass by the DNC and RNC. And all I'm going to do is laugh, because you'll remind me of somebody who's stuck in an abusive relationship who can't get out. How's that shiner looking? Be brave. Take off your sunglasses. Show me how strong you really are, because if you got to yell at me for the problems of the world then you ain't paying attention so good on cornell west the pentagon loses 6.2 billion dollars <laughs> nobody says anything because it's all part of the plan you threaten one little presidential election everybody loses their minds <laughs> so, um are you saying you don't feel that the resistance held joe biden's feet to the fire kit over the last few years, no, no, you don't no, feel wait, they wait. held his feet to the fire like they said they were going I, to. L I, I, listen, bu building on what you just said, that was pretty much what I was going to say, only not in quite as much of a uh, rousing, bring the troops together kind of spirit, more in a get ready, folks, because well, anyone who's a veteran of the Bernie bro accusations, you ain't seen nothing yet, because I believe Cornell West is polling 6% now. 
once whatever the fuck Marianne's doing over there wraps up and RFK's out, all of that support is go well, not all of it, but enough of it is going to go to Cornell West West to push him over 10, 11 percent in the polling. They are going to lose their fucking minds. We are going to be the new anti-vaxxers. That's what well, they're going to do to us. Let I me just wait. show you something right here. I can't wait for it. Good. All right. So here, here's a little taste that's already come at us. Here's from Mediaite. Jill Stein is back. Failed 2016 Green Party <laughs> candidate running Cornell West 2024 campaign. Now, f- from reading the article, it's actually not true that she's running it. I don't think she's the campaign manager. It just says that no, she is helping advise that. him as yeah. she as she of would. Course. I mean, she's a veteran of, of the Green Party yeah, right. and she's run for president before. It's it's Twice. not it's not a surprise. Yes, indeed. It's it's not a surprise uh, that she would advise him. But uh yeah, already. Already. Mediaite. This is the um you know, one of the real sort of lib sort of aggregators of media that they find the, suspicious. This, this and things is like going to make that, that look it. like nothing. Their yeah. brains have been boiling in the any not any threat to the Democratic Party is support of fascism and homophobia and racism. They've had their brains pickled in that fucking brine for so long that at this point, anyone who supports a third party candidate in their mind is is Hitler like they are going to come after us like we've never been come after by the shit libs before. I would say we embrace it, and not only that, we cause them oh, yeah. to crap their pants. Because I'm going to say this to them, especially. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not checking out. I'm just no. saying uh, well, that's no, what's no. coming. Well, here's here, here's here's my words to the vote blue, no matter who crowd. If what we say here, do dissidents, RBN, hard lens, Jimmy Dore offends you so much, Convo Couch, if what we say here offends you so much, good, because then we'll be your bad guys. But guess what you need to do? If we're so scary to you, you need to hide behind Donald Trump because he's the only man that can protect you. That's right. You need to hide behind the other guy that you call Hitler. I don't care how they feel. In fact, I embrace it. And I want them in their tiny little pickled brains of theirs to say, oh, it's their fault. Good. Make me the reason why you have a senile old need. goat. Well, that's I, what you need. I, 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 lo- I love that white heat. I, I, listen, I, I I remember watching WCW, ECW, WWE back in the day. If they if they want to put that white heat on me, I'll be their heel. I'll be your Huckleberry. I don't have to be their friend, and I don't have to respect them. I saw how these people sold out. You know, I have to find this tweet again, but I remember, I think it was Rational National who did it. In 2020, when Biden got elected in office, everyone was going to brunch, and they are posting their quote-unquote brunch memes, and he was the one who said, I'm shuckling my own oysters. Everyone's going to brunch and doing that <laughs> stuff. Fine. <laughs> Fine, I took away your brunch. Good, because I'm shitting in your oysters. I'm <laughs> spitting in your mimosas. I love every minute of it. I'm your bad guy. Good, good. I am the dude that's going to take away the world heavyweight title from you. NWO, DX, that's how I am. That's how I will be because I don't have to respect the liberals. If they want me to be the bad guy, I'll be your bad guy. But I'll Why revel in that law. Well, that's the only way to think of it, right? I mean, that's the only logical way to really go about it, right? I mean, if you're not willing to take that attitude, then you are eventually going to fold or eventually going to cave. And in this particular situation, especially now, where you have Russia, Ukraine all by itself is justification to invite that kind of hatred because, look, even if you consider Donald Trump um, measurably worse on all of the domestic issues, which I'm sorry, you really can't, whether it's climate or immigration. I mean, Biden has been so disastrous on all of these that you really can't even say definitively that Trump is the greater evil, even on those points. Um, but on Russia, Ukraine alone, on World War Three alone, right, you have a candidate who is promising to stop The war in a day. Now, that's Trump beating his chest. Nothing new under the sun there. But he could probably get it wrapped up in a month or two. It's very simple. You just tell Zelensky, listen, you're cut off. We can't do this anymore. It's not worth it for us. It's not worth it for the rest of the world. And it's not worth it for your people either. Come to the table. Let's work it out. That's it. That's all it would take. This is not a a difficult problem to solve. And so on that score alone, you have a very reasonable retort to all these liberals who come at you panicked about this. You say, well, I actually, I believe that, you know, nuclear war is the most important issue of our time. And on that issue, Donald Trump is infinitely better 
than Joe Biden. Please clap.